Hi Capricorn, it's Jackie Tomlin, the Surgeon General Reading for the week of November 16, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings and everything I offer in the description box located below this video. Okay, Capricorn, first out the gate, be warned of foolish decisions. I need you guys to slow down and think things through. Um... I'm not going to say you're full of negativity, but you're almost like a Debbie Downer this week. So be warned of that as you progress through the week. You're letting your negative thoughts in. Um, there could be some low self-esteem issues. Add a little bit of your temper that something hasn't set right with you. Don't portray that out there. Don't put that energy out there in the universe. Purpose of us reading is so you can know it and turn that energy around. Okay? There is a short trip or a trip out of state coming up for my Capricorns. Um, and honestly, I think that's what you kind of need. You need that getaway to leave that negative energy behind. Does that make sense? Sometimes all it takes is a little change of the atmosphere to get gain a new perspective. And that's exactly what I'm seeing for my Capricorns. So a little travel for a refocus in general. You're under the energy of letting go of things that no longer serve a purpose. Major changes, total victory, and good luck. So, Capricorn, you may have to change it up by changing your atmosphere to gain some perspective. So, let's take a look. I'm looking at Capricorn. This is for your week of November 16, 2020. Right. Capricorn, we start with, wow, Ten of Pentacles right out the gate. The new money coming in. Um, this is the highest financial card in the deck. Uh, this has a lot to do with the trip planning, to be quite honest with you. Imagine that. Uh, but yeah, this is new money coming into play. Two of Swords shows me that you've got decisions to make. Okay, and perhaps these decisions are on these travel plans or, um, like I said, getting away. We have the Three of Pentacles, okay? This is you still dwelling on, there will be enough to go around, okay? Spread that money out. Moving forward, you guys got the world. The world is your oyster. Things going your way, finally. That sigh of relief, ready to embrace a new day. The Eight of Cups shows taking some me time. The meditation, the looking over the past. Uh, this could also be new offers of love coming in. It's looking over the past, but also looking for a new path of not wanting to repeat the past. Then we have... There it is, that new beginning in the financial sector. And like I said, y'all started with that Ten of Pentacles right out the gate of that highest financial cord. Justice in your favor for Capricorn, okay? This could be the signing of a legal document. This could be court cases, large leases, and or purchases. But definitely coming in under that world is your oyster and falling in your favor. Knight of Wands showing a move for my Capricorns. Someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home. Um, this is probably a residential move. For some of you, it could be a business move. Change of jobs or actual business physically moving locations. And then we end with the Nine of Swords. Capricorn, let me tell you, whatever you're losing sleep over, it's not worth it. It's not worth that energy. This is where I'm talking about the negative thinking, the, the thoughts like that. This is where you need that change of atmosphere. Uh, don't get stuck in your own head. Don't get lost of sleep. The change of atmosphere brings you new perspective. Okay. Jumping over to my deck, this is Elemental Awakening. Also available on my website, and you'll find a link to those under um, this video as well. Going as far as we can with the week of November 16th, 2020 for my Capricorns. 
Capricorn, it's someone you already know. This is someone in your immediate circle that will come in and help you out. Rest before further development. This is a major arcana in this particular deck. Good news arrives and get ready to celebrate. Totally awesome. There's a Gemini type energy. Dig for your patience. Also on a major arcana. And that's easier said than done for Capricorns right now. There's a Libra energy. Cancer energy. It's surrounded by a lot of people. And Aries. My goodness. Okay. Unhappy and allowing negative thoughts in. This is what I'm telling you. Yes. Run away from these thoughts. Yes. Get away. Change in atmosphere. It makes all the difference in the world. Okay? Reuniting with someone from your past. I'm going to give you guys one more. It's not what you thought it would be. So, your three major arcanas in this deck is rest before further development. To dig for your patience, and it's not what you thought it would be. The uh, energies surrounding you are Gemini, Libra, Aries, Cancer may or may not resonate with you guys. Okay, so just to let you know, that's what I see for Capricorn. I am live every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Please feel free to join me and have a wonderful week. Bye.